welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand another concept related to microeconomics. This concept is related to PPC which is the production possibility curve. Now we have learned in our previous lectures about the PPC, what exactly is production possibility frontier, how is the transformation curve made, but we want to understand one basic principle of PPC which is why is the PPC concave to the origin? Now to understand the concavity uh, towards the origin, we need to understand the basics of PPC. So let's begin. When we talk about the concavity of the production possibility curve, we need to focus on certain principles that are associated with the PPC. So firstly, we need to understand what does the PPC talk about. So PPC talks about every additional unit of good X okay, or the commodity X that we increase. For every additional unit of that commodity X, more and more of the commodity Y has to be sacrificed, right? So when we talk about PPC, we talk about the combination of two goods in an economy, okay, which can be possibly uh, produced in the economy with the amount of resources. And the PPC talks about the potential production level that the economy can achieve. Now, Imagine that the economy has a given budget, given resources, technology also is kept constant just to assume that we are talking about a certain specific time period. Now, of course, we need to understand that with the given resources and with the given possibility that we can only produce two goods in the economy and this certain combination of two goods. Now the economy will have to understand that, okay, uh, what is the requirement of commodity one? What is the requirement of commodity two? For example, let's assume that we are talking about agriculture sector and in the agriculture sector with a certain piece of land, either we can go for producing sugarcane in that huge piece of land or we can uh, go for producing wheat or rice or any other certain agrarian crop. Now, what will we look at? We will look at the demand for that particular crop so that the justification of the usage of that piece of land and the other resources will be efficient, right? Uh, imagine that we, uh, the economy thinks that sugar cane, the sugar cane has to be produced. Now, sugar cane uses a lot of water. And if the area that we have chosen is not water fed or rain fed, then of course it will be a huge problem for the economy. And the economy is not going to potentially utilize the, uh, re uh, the resources that it has. And which is why a certain balanced combination of sugarcane along with any other crop like wheat or rice or any other crop has to be managed by the economy according to the demand of the economy, right? So now over here, we have this particular principle that if you want to add or produce another additional unit of a certain commodity, then other commodity has to be sacrificed or the other commodities production has to be sacrificed gradually, right? So with this thought, we produce a certain PPC curve, right? Now the next concept is about opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the cost that is borne by individuals, by economies, by e any other entity uh, in order to add a certain resource or uh, in order to um, gain a certain uh, opportunity, we have to sacrifice some other opportunity. Right. So in, in this realm of scarce resources and unlimited needs and desires of human individuals, what happens? We have to choose. We have to make a choice whether to watch a movie tonight or whether to go for the examination preparation or whether to go to a relative's place or whether to go to a friend's birthday party or whether to... Um, 
purchase books with the certain amount of budget that you have or whether to purchase certain clothes and apparel and cosmetics with the amount of budget right so you always have a choice and according to your own requirement it's not that one choice is bad and the other choice is good many students think that okay opportunity cost means that probably uh, the bad choice has to be dropped out no it's not that you have equally efficient choices equally best alternatives are along the line but you need to choose according to your own priority right now which opportunity is better for you and which is not and not uh, the opportunity that you drop out the opportunity that you sacrifice is the opportunity is the cost that you bear so cost is not born in any monetary terms but only in the real terms because you fail to gain the opportunity uh, because you fail to gain one opportunity in order to gain another so that's why that's the cost now with this cost concept of opportunity cost we understand the slope of ppc and why the ppc is concave to the origin okay now the slope of the ppc tends to rise now you must have seen that the slope of the ppc is something like this right or it has a concave concavity so what is this rise tell about why are we talking about this rise in the slope and to understand that concept of slope we need to understand the concept of marginal rate of transformation i have written this down as key terms because when you talk about ppc when you talk about production possibility frontier or transformation curve these are the various keywords that you all need to understand and all need to think about um if you do not study in the full fledged format then of course you might skip the details right and then you might not be able to answer logical reasoning questions okay so now moving to the depth of the slope of ppc curve so here we say that the slope of ppc is known as rate of transformation or marginal rate of transformation so slope of ppc is called as what marginal rate of transformation mrt it is also known as the marginal rate of opportunity cost or marginal opportunity cost because when we talk about opportunity cost we are al always talking about the sacrifice of one opportunity to gain the other opportunity so the concept of ppc uh, is fundamentally based on this whole opportunity cost principle only and when we talk about the slope or the concavity of this particular ppc then we talk about the rate of transformation or the rate at which the cost has changed over the time period okay of the opportunity that we have gained so now we are going to understand how we draw the ppc and how we understand the concept of marginal rate of transformation okay so when we talk about marginal rate of transformation or marginal opportunity cost it is equal to the change in the commodity y okay which is represented by what which is represented by the loss of y the loss or the sacrifice of good y that we have done in order to gain in order to gain an additional unit of commodity x okay so this represents what this represents the gain of x so here you need to understand this very carefully that one change represents loss of commodity y and the change in x represents the gain in the commodity x because we are talking about concept of opportunity cost so 
we need to address this in the formula also and this formula also applies to marginal rate of transformation as well because these things are uh, synonyms to each other right now let's draw the curve here we have the axis x axis and y axis right so let's take a simple example through which we can understand the sacrifice and gain okay so on the x axis we have cloth and on the y axis we have wheat okay wheat or any crop crop cloth okay um food and clothing both are important for the economy so we are talking about two important uh, aspects of the economy that the economy can produce okay now we have to find out the combination or the best combinations of food and clothing in the economy that need to be produced so that the economy can be given or the people can be given these items right so one uh, in cloth we are talking about clothing and we are talking about crop uh, for which we have taken wheat okay this is the origin now uh, let's talk about the ppc so let's say that we have a scale always whenever you draw uh, the diagram or the graph you always need to draw the scale of the diagram also so let's say that we have over here 50 tons of wheat this is a hypothetical example 50 tons then 100 tons 150 ton 200 tons 250 ton 300 tons okay so let's say this is a simple scale of 50 50 interval here we are going to just take an interval of 10 so 10 in units of cloth 20 30 40 50 60 and 70 now you all can also make this example you can take any such example first thing is to you have to draw the scale and then of course you can build on this example so imagine that when uh, 300 when the economy was producing 300 ton of wheat the economy was not producing any cloth okay only wheat but of course we need to know that uh, th these two commodities are very important for the economy and which is why we need to produce both the commodities and the combination of both the commodities right because both of it are important so which is why we will go further ahead and we'll start producing cloth also with the given resources. Okay. So now what do we do? Let's say we go for 30 units of cloth. And for producing 30 units of cloth, we need to sacrifice some units of wheat because production ke liye, jo resources hai, wo to limited hai economy ke liye economy mein to economy kya karegi economy will have to uh, modify or modulate the given resources so that now unhi resources se hum more of one commodity and sacrificing the other commodity hum is tarah ka combination bana sakte hain right so we need to sacrifice certain units of wheat so that we produce 30 units of cloth okay so let's say that this is your second point right now uh, let's again go further and let's say that you need to you produce 50 units of cloth for which you uh, have to sacrifice more amount of wheat so let's say you go down by 100 tons of wheat and on 150 you have this so let's say that the point will be somewhere here right and finally uh, you um, add about 65 
65 units of cloth by sacrificing another 50 tons of wheat okay which means that this is wheat so these are the points that we have used okay so here we go and somewhere right and then finally uh, the economy thinks that okay now we have produced a lot of wheat so uh, what if that we utilize all our resources to produce only cloth okay or only clothing right and that time what will happen we will have to sacrifice all the production possibilities that were going for wheat so wheat will be zero and let's say that um, the cloth will be 75 right so if you see this properly we have gradually sacrificed this is what this is the sacrifice of wheat so that we gain cloth okay so whenever you understand a concept many students think that microeconomics can be can become very difficult because there are so many graphs but if you understand the theory you need the graph to represent it Di diagrammatic representation will make things easier and not complex and this is a beautiful example of it now simply what you need to do is just connect the dots okay and this is how you get your PPC, okay? Now, this is the PPC, which is a downward sloping curve, but it is also concave to the origin. Now, obviously, there are certain points you may say that here there's a dent, then how come it is concave? So do not worry until unless it is like this okay it it can it can be stated as concave this or very curvature this okay or some dent all of these are concave to the origin right so other than this type of curve all of these curves represent the concept of opportunity cost and because the opportunity cost keeps on increasing okay keeps on increasing because more and more sacrifice needs to be done for one commodity so that we can gain more and more additional amount of commodities right so that's why this is the uh, major uh, concept with regards to concavity of PPC right so I hope that you have understood the reasons of why the PPC has a concave um, has the concave shape towards the origin the reasons are the rate of transformation or the marginal rate of transformation okay which is also known as the marginal opportunity cost right so i hope that this concept is clear to you all and we will present more such informative concepts with regards to microeconomics in our future lectures till then stay tuned to ecoholics thank you